Hi, everybody. Joe Chaffee here. Weather in five, five days in five minutes on this Wednesday, which is going to be another warm day. Just want to point out, we do have red flag warnings up for southern New England, from Massachusetts, uh, Connecticut, down to Rhode Island and the Cape. Then there's a bit of a break in between in the Hudson Valley in New Jersey, where we don't have the red flag warnings up. And then they're back up again for Pennsylvania and parts of northwestern Virginia and northeastern West Virginia. And you can see out to the west from the Great Lakes all the way back down through Kansas and parts of Colorado and New Mexico. We have red flag warnings up there as well. Some winter weather going on in parts of Montana and Wyoming, along with flood advisories and flood watches up for either rain, as you have in Nevada, or for snow melt or a combination of rain and snow melt uh, in the coming days. The uh, temperatures at noontime, uh, these are the highs of the day so far. And it, we've already hit 79 at Newark. We're in the middle to upper 70s across much of New Jersey, southeastern Pennsylvania, Long Island, seeing temperatures in the low to mid 70s, 70s into the Hudson Valley. Uh, upper 60s to low 70s across Connecticut and Rhode Island. They'll play a little bit of catch up. There was some cloud cover overnight and this morning, and those clouds have now moved out. That northwest flow continues, but uh, the last upper air disturbance producing the clouds has now passed on through, so we should be mostly sunny for the rest of the day. Moisture from Florida through the Gulf Coast is kind of confined there. There's a weak low that is sitting uh, offshore. There's also an upper low. You can see the turning there in western Louisiana, and that's pulling up the moisture to the coast. But the northwest flow and the ridge aloft that covers the, the southern and central plains over to the Great Lakes and into the mid-Atlantic states is preventing this moisture from moving northward, uh, where we do see energy coming in from the Pacific and going on up into the northern Rockies and in the Pacific Northwest. That is going to continue for the rest of the day. The radar is just active along the Gulf Coast. Southern Florida getting a soaking rain today. So is Southeast Louisiana. And in a little while this afternoon, we'll see that spread into the coastal areas of Al Mississippi, Alabama, and the Florida Panhandle. And then you see the precip that's up going on now in the Pacific Northwest. Not too much happening in the Northeast at midday, just a few light showers up in Vermont, those are moving southeast and gradually drying out. Storm Prediction Center today has a marginal risk in that area along the central Gulf Coast. For tomorrow, we have a marginal risk in much of Alabama and Georgia and the Florida Panhandle, actually the northern half of Florida, all in a marginal risk. And as we move on to day three, we start to see the next weather system that's going to come into the eastern part of the United States late in the weekend that's going to produce a marginal to slight risk of severe weather in the southern and kind of nosing up into parts of the central plains. Rainfall uh, amounts, again, this is all from this system probably coming through later, late Sunday, Sunday night, where we have anywhere from a quarter to a half inch, some three quarter inch amounts in upstate New York and Pennsylvania. Larger amounts along the Gulf Coast with that low, also in southeast Florida, and on up uh, into the Pacific Northwest. So, until we get something to come in from the west and break this ridge down, we're going to continue to warm up. And we've got northwest winds today. We'll have mostly northwest or west winds tomorrow and Friday. So we'll be, I think, we're, since we're already close to 80 in some spots, let's say upper 70s and some lower 80s this afternoon in eastern Pennsylvania to southern New England. There might be a couple of places that might have some low-hanging fruit as far as records are concerned so they may go by. And then a better chance for records tomorrow and Friday when we'll be in the 80s. And I would not be at all surprised to see if one or two warm spots wind up pushing up toward the 90 degree mark. We will stay dry through Friday. Now, some of that southern moisture is going to try to move up on Saturday. You see it there in the Carolinas, back through Georgia and Tennessee. Uh, it's a weakening system. So I don't know how much of this is going to hold together. We're going to throw in the chance that there could be a few showers on what will be a warm day on Saturday, though there will be more of a south wind, and that's going to hold temperatures down a bit, maybe 70s to around or just over 80, depending on cloud cover, and the same will hold for Sunday. Then we'll have this cold front approaching, and I think Sunday night we could see some showers and maybe even a thunderstorm or two. 
After that, the pattern next week is totally the opposite of what we have this week. It's going to be a rather chilly pattern. I think we'll have the chance for some showery rains on Tuesday with another cold front going by in an upper air trough. And it is going to stay on the coolish side of normal pretty much all of next week, either near normal or just a little bit below normal. Tuesday will be the one day after Sunday night. Tuesday might be the day where we could see some showers around as the next push of cooler air uh, moves on in. We will, of course, talk all about this at length tonight on the Joe and Joe Weather Show, and that's at 7.35 p.m. Eastern Time, so we hope to see you then.